Read that again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above what? Above all people. Above that, what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That, so God chose us to be above all people that are upon that face of the earth. Once again, alcohol and drugs has plagued our communities. We are supposed to be God's own earth. Give me that in Isaiah 5 and 11. Our communities are destroyed behind drugs and alcohol. Our communities are destroyed behind prostitution. As you can see, our sisters getting picked up by a John. Our people are being destroyed by drugs and alcohol. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. And we're not making this up. God said destruction will happen upon us because of drugs and alcohol. Read. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. I'm going to have a brother read it again. So, my brother, are our people not being destroyed by drugs and alcohol? Yes, it is. Right. And the Bible, all we're doing is reading up out of the Bible. The Bible says our people are destroyed, be destroyed by that. Read it again. Whoa. Unto them that rise up early. Read the first part again. You said what? Whoa. He said whoa. Whoa means destruction. Read. Unto them that rise up early in the morning. So it's destruction is going to happen to us to that rise up early. We the only people that are the main ones. What we be talking about? Wake and bakes. Wake and bakes, right? Early morning brew. Let me let me make a hot toddy to get me started off in a day. We the only people that think like that. That wake up early in the morning, got a blunt on our mind, got two elevens on our mind, got an ice house on our mind. The sun ain't even down yet, and we lined up walking back and forth to the liquor store. And I can bring out some shit. And most of us been there two or three times already, three or four times. Read that they may follow strong drink that continue until night, till till wine inflame them. So our people like to sit up there from the beginning of the morning all the way through night, smoking and drinking. But wonder why our community is destroyed. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question real quick. Now, over here, over here, over here. Now, step over here, step over here, step over here. You good, bro? You good, you good? So, let me ask you a question. What, what's your, yeah, my bad. What's your name, bro? What's your name? Kevin. Kevin, let me ask you a question. You see yourself on this sign right here? So, so you call, which one? Oh, the first one right here. Are you, at, what is your father? Is he African American, Mexican, Puerto Rican? So, so do you, do you identify with being a black man? Okay. All right. So what we're out here doing today, Kevin, is showing our people who they are according to the Bible. I see you got a cross on. You believe in the Bible? You ever heard of the Israelites before? Okay. Okay. Did you know, Kevin, that you are in fact an Israelite according to the Bible? Not the people that you see over in Israel today, but you are an Israelite according to the Bible. And we can show you who you are in the Bible. Because if you read the Bible, you won't read African American. You won't read uh, the nation of black. You won't read about being a Negro. But you will read about being an Israelite and God's chosen people went through a certain, had to go through a set and certain curses to identify them. Go ahead and give me that Deuteronomy 1 and 1 because I know you grew up in a church so you familiar with uh, the exodus with Moses? Moses leading the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? Alright, so read that Deuteronomy 1 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Hey brother, sister, come forward, listen, read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan 
in the wilderness. Read that again so we can get the gist of the topic. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Deuteronomy, this chapter, Moses is speaking to all Israel. Israel only. When he led the children out of Egypt, it wasn't all the other nations he was speaking to. He was only speaking to Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now let's see what Moses said to the Israelites. Go to 28. Because in, in church, they teach you that God speaks to everybody and deals with everybody. Okay. 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 All right. Cool, cool, cool. So you're saying you know you're an Israelite. That's what you're saying? Okay. All right. So we're going to show you today. All right. In, irrefutable evidence. All right. Without reasonable doubt, we are the Israelites. Read. Verse 15. Yep. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Yep. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, I'm going to have a brother read it again, and if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you a series of questions according to that. Okay, all right, read it, read it for him again. I got you, I got you. I'm going to get straight to the point. But it shall come to pass. So it shall come to pass, meaning that it will happen in the future, right? This is prophecy. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if we didn't do what God said or, or the, the things that he commanded us to do, what was going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Quick question. Is a curse a good or bad thing? That's all real, man. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see how our relationship with God reacts to this curse. You, you absolutely right. And I'm we're gonna show you how to get forgiveness, but let's see a curse. Go ahead, jump to 68, because I know this, I know I know you say you ain't got much time, so I'm gonna respect that. Go to 68, read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Hold on. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Remember. Moses took the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? How did how did how did we get into Egypt? We walked, right? Okay, let's get the let's get the definition of Egypt for my brothers and my sister. Go ahead and read the book of Exodus, chapter twenty. And verse 2, because the word Egypt has a meaning. Every word has a meaning. Let's see what Egypt means. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Read it again. Read it slow. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Kevin, what does the word Egypt mean? I uh, read it again for Kevin. I am the Lord yep. thy God. Yep. Well, hold on. What does the word Egypt mean according to the scripture? No, I read it again for him. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So you said bondage, right? So bondage means what? What does bondage mean? What? What does bondage mean? Sin. The question was, what is Egypt? Right? Yeah. So I, I thought well, it was it was a place where God was our first place man. No, that's not where he first place man. And we can even show you that. We can read that again. Read it again. Be close, close I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the brother with the black shirt was correct. He said bondage. What is another word for bondage? Slavery. Slavery, exactly. So let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. The reason why we're going over different scriptures, so we can see what the words actually mean. You can define the word in the Bible with the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, hold on, slow down. Read. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again? Again. So the Lord shall bring thee into bondage or slavery again. Remember, we walked to Egypt.
Egypt. We walked to Egypt, right? How is he going to bring us into slavery this time? With ships. Read that part again. By what? With ships. So how do we go into slavery the next time? How do we go into slavery this time? Read it again for him. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How do we go into slavery to in America? Slave ships. That's how you know it's taught the it, children of Israel is us. That is a curse. Your, your ancestors came here in slave ships, right? What they came here in slave ships, right? Check this out. We we the ones that went through bondage. We the only ones that went through this type of slavery. Keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So the same way, because you can read about the other curses in Deuteronomy. Only our people went through those curses. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. So thou shalt see it no more again. Our homeland. You said Egypt was our homeland, right? Or what? What did, what did you say? Repeat what you said before. First place man. No, that's not true. I'm going to show you where he first placed us, where our motherland is, where we came from. We're going to show you where we truly come from out of the Bible. Read. The book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Read. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Read that again. You getting him for me, officer. All right. Read that again. Jerusalem. Where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, which is in Israel. Israel is not a part of what today calls the Middle East. It was part of Northeast Africa. Read. Which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. So, the Bible says, where is our motherland? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, exactly. Not Egypt. Not West Africa. Now, I know a lot of our people in Ghana, not Ghana either, but Jerusalem, which is in Israel. I want to, uh, what I want to read real quick, because a lot of our people think that we are African. You might hear people say they Kemetic or Hamites. No, we are not. Even the scholars know, even our oppressors know. Read what you got. Tell them what book it is. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 213. Ham. The youngest son of Noah. Sir, check this out. You listening? Read. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. So Ham, y'all might have heard of him in church if you've been to church before. They say we come from Ham, that we're Gentiles. The scholars even know that Ham is the father of who? Start that progenitor in dark races? He became the progenitor. So progenitor means father, right? Read. Of the dark races. Of the dark races. Read. Not the the Negro, not the Negroes. Don't they call us Negroes here in America? So we do not come from him. We come from Shem. Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. The church teaches you you came from him. No, you came from Shem. The Egyptians came from him, but we didn't. God put a difference between us. Let's get that in the scriptures in Exodus. God even said himself that he put a between us and the Egyptians. We are not all the same. Stop letting the world tell us that we the same. We not. We the only people that think we the same. You got it? It said Exodus 4. Uh, Exodus 11. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read it. The book of Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. But against the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Hey, read it again, read it with some power. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. So hold on, one sec. Hey, we got a God that don't play. We got a, y'all wonder why 
why all these tornadoes, uh, buildings collapsing, is happening to these so-called white folks, or these tsunamis happening to these so-called Asians? Because God don't mess with it. Don't, God don't mess around with his people. He said what? But against any of the children of Israel. So against God, children, read, shall not a dove move his tongue. So, so a dog shouldn't even move his tongue against his people. That's how you know God only cares about one group of people, and that is y'all, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Against man or beast, but not even against our own animals should anybody be speaking against them. Read. That ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So God put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. He put a difference between us. Yes, we look like them, but we are different. We are not the same. We the Israelites. We read to y'all that the Israelites went into slavery on slave ships, correct? We, who, what group of people went into slavery on slave ships? What group of people went into slavery on slave ships, sis? You said who? Your great, your, your, your great great grandparents and your grandparents, right? Did the white man go into slavery on slave ships? Did the Chinese man go into slavery on slave ships? Did the Arab man go into slavery on slave ships? Absolutely not. Only the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But guess what? It's so much more than just knowing that you're a child of God. The screen black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.